cats. They're cute, they're cuddly, well, some of them. They're independent and they do some damn funny things. Not to mention they have a lot of attitude. They're all a little bit nuts, but that's the thing about having pets. In this video, I will be looking for a potential new pet. But before we get to that, here's what I was doing the night before. Okay, so it's 11 p.m. right now. Flying don't stop, bro. Even on rest days, you gotta do something. <laughs> <laughs> no. right, uh -huh. He's probably cheating right now. <laughs> Three, two, one, let's get it. Ain't no one training them. Ain't no one gonna push up. He's messing up. He's out. Okay. Okay. I randomly had a nostalgic memory of petting my cat when I was in eighth grade. I don't have a cat anymore because I've moved out to LA. So I thought, what better than to go to a pet adoption center today? And if we're allowed to foster one, I might take home a cat. So I made my way over to the nearest pet adoption center and I headed upstairs to where the cats were. Bruh, there were so many cool cats in this room. The lady here told me that it always takes more time to build a relationship with cats than it does with dogs. That's why they don't really love strangers immediately. Then I headed over to Crumbs and Whiskers, which is another adoption center mixed with the cafe and you basically can have coffee and food and play with rescue cats and possibly adopt one i'm getting this kitten fever really quickly i feel like all the problems that i've had in life have just disappeared now after petting this cat look at you me and Lou started bonding. We were both chilling, enjoying each other's company. This is brother and sister? Yes. So actually female cats can have litters of multiple males at a time. I was getting very attached to each cat I started playing with. I like that cats just want to hang out. I just bought this water bottle. It's a water bottle that you fill up with regular water and then you put these flavor pods on them. So this is a peach flavor and a lemon flavor and it tricks your brain into thinking you're tasting this flavor even though it's just regular water. That tastes like a peach. I can literally taste it. You're basically tasting this with your nose. Taste the magic, repeat until fully hydrated. The flavored air travels from your mouth up to your olfactory center where it's perceived as flavor. Bam! Plain water just got a whole lot tastier. Now, if only they could come up with this for vegetables. They need to make broccoli taste like a brownie. Let's give it a test. Yeah, it's not really working. I can smell the peach. I'm not tasting the peach. This shit doesn't work. The lemon pack says bring your water to life with a taste of lemon. It definitely smells like the flavor. I'm about to be the most hydrated man out here. It still tastes like water, but I can smell the lemon. Well, she can't. It seems like you could drink flavored water on the go by just putting these capsules on. This don't work. I headed over to a park to meet up with Matthew. We were attempting to feed the ducks. I want to pet a duck. But forgot to bring food to feed them. Luckily, this kind man gave me some bread to give to the ducks. You baited in with the bread. I know you want it. I smell it. I know you want it. You gotta give hey, bread to get bread. I need to find one that really appreciates what they're getting. I'm gonna give it. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. No. Oh, Jerry. You say Jerry? Uh -huh. Okay. Oh, damn. I'm grateful. I gotta learn from the master. <laughs> Dang, he just gave up. <laughs> they have senses. <laughs> and then Matthew wanted ice cream, so of course I made sure he got something. What do you want? Let's hope we get a perfect minion. <laughs> Taste test. Tastes like a banana. Is it good? Yep. Hello. Hello. I know where you live, bro. No, you don't. For those that don't know, I have my own personal clothing brand called Hour 43. When I moved from Maryland to California, it took me 43 hours to drive from there to here. If you go on the Instagram page, Hour 43, I break it down a little bit more with the meaning. So I just did a summer drop recently. Girl, baby tee, crop top, guy t-shirts, shorts, and then I also have these cool hats that I made. But yeah, if you guys want any of this stuff and want to support me, all you got to do is go to hour43.co. Browse the website. I have other stuff on there as well. Like during March, I decided to drop sweatshirts. I have this cool hoodie. I got cream, black. I got some other colors. I got some sweatsuits. Feel free to check it out. Appreciate you guys. Drop your Instagram down below and I'll give out these last three that I have. Like I'm going to be giving away stuff here and there. I had to go find my cat. Yup, so now I'm officially a dad. That decision was made pretty fast. I have a new member to my life now. It's time to 
give you a new home. We're gonna go copy some cool supplies, get you all your necessities. The name that she came with was Harley Quinn. I'm not gonna stick with that. I thought of the name Spade. The dog that she will be living with, his name is Ace. And I was just like, they're kind of like a package deal since they're brother and sister. So why not kind of put a, put the names in the same world? Ace of Spades, the card, the suit, you get it. She's like two months old. This is gonna be fun. I used to have cats growing up my whole life, so I'm excited. She's purring. Yeah, I made the right decision. Then I headed to the store and copped all the necessary supplies for my new girl. Shopping for new stuff is always so therapeutic to me. I initially said that we were gonna name her Spade because we have Ace and then Ace of Spade, but then it just wasn't really sticking. And we have now named our cat Prada, like the designer brand Prada. Still fostering her. It has been six days. Things are going well. Having a dog and cat in the same environment has been interesting. Anybody that has cats and dogs, drop in the comments things you have done to get them to get along well. Things that you shouldn't do and things you should do. Sometimes Ace gets really excited when Prada is more calm. Ace will almost jump on Prada and then think they can like play fight the way a dog would do with the dog, but there's this extreme size difference. And then there's other times where Prada will let Ace get close and smell each other and they seem to like work out pretty well. The one thing that's fun about cats, they have a way bigger toy selection than you have with dogs. Like dogs, you have a ball. What else can you really give a dog? Anything. But like cats, they be giving you this. Like you can't use this with a dog. Damn, she's unfazed. If you own a cat, what are like the best toys to get? I literally got this thing and a laser. Probably the most basic thing you could get at Petco. I've been playing with Prada all day. Don't want to neglect my mans over here. Look at that face. <laughs> okay, that ain't the cutest goddamn thing ever. Shh, what are you doing? And then we're gonna come back in five minutes to see if she's still asleep. See you later, Prada. All right, Ace, what's the move? You and me time. I just had Menchie's for the first time. It's a frozen yogurt place in LA. Not a fan of frozen yogurt, but Menchie's was pretty fire. So I gotta burn off the extra 1,000 calories that I just ate today. We have a scooter slash hoverboard contraption, custom made. I don't know if I'm the right person to be operating one of these, but the 10 year old inside of me really wants to try this out. So we're gonna give it a shot right now. Oh, 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 okay. Alright, so the break. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh shoot. Okay. Okay. Oh. Oh. Oh, it's lit. I'm gonna give this a solid eight out of ten. It would have got ten, but I fell off of it. Alright, so now that dad has had his fun, let's go check in on Prada. See how she's holding up. Oh, hi there. We weren't having too much fun without ya. The cute ass paw ace. She's waking up. Yep. There we go. Okay, now that's cute as hell. And then just because I'm a dad, you gotta do the classic adult thing where you take photos. Fix your ear, buddy. What are we getting into tonight, Ace? We going out? We going to hide? I got us a table. It's pet friendly. So it's now been about three weeks since I got Prada. She got spayed last week, so she's wearing a cone so she doesn't rip her stitches off. Over these last three weeks, I felt extra happy with Prada in my life. She's self-sufficient and clean. It's been interesting adjusting to my workflow. Every time I edit, she walks all over my keyboard and jumps at my computer when she sees me moving the mouse on the screen. Everyone she's met, she's been super friendly with. She's great to play with and easy to take care of. She always meows and scratches the door when I leave. It's officially been 14 days since she's been spayed, so now her cone can come off. At this point, Prada really just lets me do anything to her. She's officially adopted. We fostered her. You're now part of the family. And it's interesting because when they're kitties and stuff, they're very friendly. This one loves attention. And I remember when I had cats, the older that they got, they were a little more independent. Hopefully she doesn't grow into that. Hopefully she still loves her parents very well. Ace and Prada are getting along just fine. Ace seems to always instigate the playing, but Prada has warmed up to him since they first met. She used to just hiss at him, but now she plays back. Since I'm gonna be showing you guys little peeks into my life, I was curious, 
for you guys to comment down below and ask me things that you want to see things you want to know things you're curious about i feel like i'm very mysterious to most people because i do a lot of the skits character stuff a lot of people follow me on instagram and they kind of see just like pictures of me wearing different outfits but not people know too much about the real me i'm definitely a more introverted person i love to edit so if there's any questions you guys have about editing or fashion where i shop i just want to be as transparent with you guys